Yo, yo, what is up everybody? Chris here from Fake Sports News, bringing you guys a quick tier list going into Major 3 later this week. Of course, that being hosted by Optic Texas. And sorry for the hiatus, guys. I know I took week 2 and 3 off, but I was sick. Uh, I had a really bad stomach bug, so not sure what that was. I got over COVID and then got a stomach bug, so seems like something's going around because everybody has pretty much had a very similar experience to me. A lot of people have. Um, so just happy to be getting back to normal and able to record finally. So without further ado, getting right into this tier list, um, we'll start with the D tier, and it has to be said, Minnesota Rocker, they looked atrocious this stage online, they went 0-5, and they lost to everybody, and that's the story. Um, they put up a valiant effort in some of their matches, but I don't know what's up with that team, it's just off. Um, similarly, on the other side of the spectrum, we're going to look at Seattle Surge. They finished 4-1 and one in the split. They got number one seed overall. And honestly, they're one of my favorites to win the major. They cleaned up the S&D, which was obviously their big issue. And now that they cleaned it up, they look really solid. They look to be back in form. And they did win major three last year. So if we learn anything from Slasher at major two, it is that there are some themes for some events, for some players, for some reason. So our next team, pick a random team out the bunch. Um, I'm going to say Boston Breach A tier, or I'm sorry, S tier. They finished 4-1. and one. Um, They looked really good. 4-3 and three in hard point. They're, I'm sorry, 5-3 and three in hard point. 4-3 and three in S and D. 4-1 in control. Um, their difficulty of schedule is definitely there. They played Florida. They played LA Thieves. They played Toronto. They beat Toronto and LA Thieves. Lost to Florida, surprisingly. Beat LAG, and they also beat London. So, difficulty schedule is definitely there. They were tested, and they looked great. Beans looks like a really good natural fit in this team. He definitely improved their respawn prowess and their slang, I think. So, I think they finally have the roster to compete with the top-tier teams at these events and finally beat them. So, Boston are definitely my dark horse to win it all. Um, more on that later this week, but I, I really like what I've seen from them, and I think they could definitely win this if they play their cards right this weekend. Our next team, Optic Texas, I'm going to give them an A just because of their inconsistency. Um, at times, they looked like the best team in the game. At other points, they looked completely lost and clueless, and that's just not what you want to see from a new team going into any event, right? So um, they definitely have a lot to clean up and iron out, but if they play their game, I think Optic Texas could definitely win this event. It's just... The highs were very high and the lows were very low. So the lows are very concerning um, for that team, especially with them having a new player who isn't really proven in the league yet and this being his first land. Um, a lot of questions that remain to be answered. LA Gorillas, they made winner's bracket and they looked pretty good. Um, they definitely struggled. They faltered a little bit this stage, but they recovered pretty well. Um, wasn't really expecting them to make winner's racket, but they did it. So um, going into the major, they look okay, we'll say, across the board. Um, definitely a lot of room for improvement, but I think the Gorillas could definitely make a respectable run if they clean up their hard point, really. That's been their sore spot. And if they really stay consistent in their S&D and their control, they've looked pretty good there. Um, they just need to really sharpen up a couple of things. The next team we'll look at is the London Royal Ravens, and I'm going to put them in C tier. They've been really fighting, and they had a lot of close series throughout the split. Um, they were able to actually win, so that was really good for London. They won two series, one series, two series, I think two series. Um, but they looked really good this stage. They were definitely playing the good teams really tight, and they played everybody tight, so... London's definitely improved a lot, and they are a more competitive team. So I think at some point they'll get it together, and they might be able to string some wins together. So we'll see what they do this weekend. But they look really good um, in this stage, and they have a lot of promise as a team. They're definitely making improvements. Toronto Ultra, I'm going to put them in A tier just because based on what we saw from them online, um, they still have a lot of things to iron out. They looked really good, but there were just moments where Ultra showed that they are a new team with a new player and they're really trying to get Hixie in the mix and get him more comfortable in their system um and with that in mind and it being so early I'm just not too convinced that this ultra team has what it takes to 
really compete with our Seattles and our Bostons just yet um, and beat them. They lost to Boston and they lost to Seattle as well. So the next team we're going to look at is the New York Subliners. I'm going to put them in A tier as well. Um, the Subliners have definitely faltered just a little bit. They don't have that same oomph that they had in the beginning of the season. The fear factor is certainly gone. And their series are a lot more unpredictable, I would say. Um, map to map, it feels like the subliners are doing what they should, but it just feels like a lot of these teams are more comfortable with their game plans. They know what they want to do, and mid-season, everybody kind of knows how to play the game. So the subliners are definitely fighting for their identity as a top team and to reassert dominance, but... I think they can definitely do that this weekend. It just remains to be seen how they go about that and what game modes uh, they are consistently dominant in because their S&D has definitely been struggling a lot and their control has been okay. So the subliners are definitely in a, a rough patch right now um, in terms of just their overall form. And I think that maybe this event, they'll turn some heads and kind of get the momentum back on their side now that they'll be on like land with a proper chance um excuse me obviously the last event with the travel complications and things they didn't really get a fair shake so we'll see how it goes at major three for them but it feels like kind of a downturn um if we're being honest not like they're falling off but they're just falling into a tier if that makes sense um next team florida mutineers i'm going to put them in b tier i feel like they're the lone beard the uh, beer tier team b tier team right now just because they didn't make winners um and they also didn't look horrible right they definitely showed a lot of improvements capsule and fellow were definitely the two players that this team needed it feels like they excuse me finally have a chance to win every series that they play and it feels like they have real slang now and a lot more decisiveness and snd it's just the mid game stuff late game stuff little things that really um, if their change could make Florida a serious contender. Our next team, LA Thieves, going to put them in S tier. Obviously, LA Thieves are a land team. They are the most consistent land team that we have in the CDL, I would say. Um, probably second best hard point team be behind Seattle. Um, I mean, they're just a really good team. You can't really take anything away from the Thieves. Pretty easy uh, S tier team. They just... Our solid team controls solid, hard point solid, S and D solid. Not really a lot of critiques to offer. Um, just I guess try not to lose. Like there's nothing that's been standing out across the board where they've been getting smoked. So not really a lot of critiques to offer there. Um, Vegas Legion. I'm going to put them in C. They are a good team with a puncher's chance, but they just have not been able to pull it together this stage. They were two and three. They could have made winner's bracket, but they lost to LAG, and I don't know how they lost to LAG when they did, but um, yeah, I mean, I like this team. You guys know they're like a team that I'm very much a fan of, but I'm going to leave them and see. I just feel like they have a chance, but they don't consistently capitalize on the chances that they have, if that makes sense. So right now they're a c-tier team they just can't pull it together and convert to winning when it matters so maybe they can do something at the major i hope they can and make it interesting but yeah c as it stands for right now the last team is atlanta phase i'm going to put them in the s tier the defending major two champions went three and two to make winners bracket hard point is whew, stinking um they really need to clean up that hard point if they clean up the hard point then i think they have a really good chance to go back to back but they did not show any visible signs of cleaning it up in stage three. They lost almost every hard point they played. And the ones that they did win were way too close for comfort. So Atlanta Face have a lot of work to do with their late game hard point um, just to be elite. Obviously, they're not in a scary position because they went three and two and they won the last event. So not going to be dramatic. But they definitely have their work cut out for them if they want to have a really good chance of winning this event, not kind of a puncher's chance. So, yeah, these are my S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier teams. Um, and, yeah, I mean, if you guys disagree with anything, let me know in the comments below. I feel like this is pretty well balanced just based on the 
strength of teams. I, I kind of wanted to rank them based on who could beat who. I feel like Florida clears all three of these. I feel like Opti clears all. But A is interchangeable. Anybody could be anybody in A. And below A, I feel like it would be easy work for anybody in A. And then S, I feel like, would make easy work of anybody in A, with the exception of Phase and Optic for matchup reasons, for whatever reason. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this is S. I think S is pretty safe, just based on what we saw at the Major. Everybody in A just kind of stumbled a little bit too much for me to really think they have a great chance of winning the Major. But yeah, I mean, if you guys disagree, just let me know in the comment section below. I don't want to keep rambling. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned to more major coverage coming on the channel later this week. And I hope you guys enjoy the major later this week. It's going to be absolutely great. If you're going, have a good time and travel safe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. And this is Chris Big Source News. I'm signing off. Peace.